All right, so on this episode of Trailer Park Patrol, we've got a trailer race coming up, which is kind of fitting considering the name of the show. Um, the rules are you can take any full-size car, pickup, or SUV. You put on a trailer that's at least 10 foot long. You can have a boat on the trailer, nothing else, but you don't have to have anything on the trailer. And it's a race for 20 laps. The last person with their trailer attached or the first to finish 20 laps with at least 10 foot of their trailer still attached wins. First place pays a thousand bucks, second place pays 500, third place pays 250. The last one I did, I got third place in, the car barely ran when it was over. And the only reason I didn't get first place was because my trailer wasn't long enough when it ended. But we're gonna take care of that this time. We got a way that we're gonna build a trailer that will stay attached. I was the only person to finish 20 laps. It was awesome, good fun. You get, you crash pretty hard, but it's good, good time. I think you'll enjoy watching it. So we decided last night we were gonna do it. Yesterday was the 16th of September. It's on September 30th, so that gives us around two weeks to get a car, get it all prepped, and get it ready. Now, the only thing you have to do to the car is you have to take all the glass out of it except the windshield. You can leave the windshield if you want to, but you have to have some kind of something to stop debris, you know, in case a tire comes off and wants to come through the windshield, you gotta have something to stop that so nobody dies. <clears throat> um, you gotta wear your seatbelt, you gotta wear a helmet, and you can, if you want to, put one bar across behind the front seats to keep your seats from laying over backwards because last time we did this, that's exactly what happened. We got hit from the side, my seat completely broke up and fell backwards, so I drove the rest of the race trying to hold myself up on the steering wheel so now we have about 13 days to get a car get it prepped get it ready and get it over there this is going to be at Kennedale Speedway Park in Kennedale Texas it's a dirt track, dirt track so that's what we're doing hope you like watching this I found a couple cars I've got a Cadillac I was looking at again that's what I used last time I've got a couple of Cavaliers and a couple of Toyota Camrys to go look at today. So hopefully we get one today because then that'll give us the rest of the time just to prep the car and get the decals put on it and everything. We're going to make the car look good. So we'll see. All right, it is 12.06 in the afternoon. I jumped on Craigslist this morning and wound up following up with some of those cars I was looking at this morning. I found like an early 2000s Camry. It's been wrecked in the back end, but other than that, it's fine. It drives good, motor's good, trans is good, interior they said is good, cruise works, which none of that matters. AC works, that don't matter. But I talked them down from $450 to $325. So I'm on my way to Dallas to pick it up right now. And I've got about an hour drive and we'll go from there. Well, we made it to Dallas. And uh, I wasn't looking at my phone too much while I was driving, so I checked it right before I got here just to send in traffic. I was in text her, hey, five minutes away, and I had a text that said she had to go to the store, and she'll be back soon. So I'm sitting outside her house. I've been here about 10 minutes now. I looked at the car. Couldn't hear it run or anything yet, but uh, waiting for her to get back. So hopefully she gets back so we can uh, get this bad boy loaded up and get it back to Itasca. So it's a nice neighborhood, though. I don't have to, I'm just kind of worried I didn't bring any protection with me and I didn't want to get shot. So it's good that it's in a pretty nice neighborhood. Nice houses and stuff around. I can see why they want to sell this car cheap though because it's wrecked to crap and it's sitting right on the side of the road. So anyways, hopefully she gets here soon. We'll get it loaded up and get it back to town and get started working on it. <laughs> shouldn't be yet because I'm still doing it. Fix rear end, I'm still working on that. And then make list and check off items on the list is both marked off. So, you know, 
know, I've done basically nothing. So we're about to get started. I'm going to try to raise up this bumper support so I can put the factory bumper back on there. The rules say you have to have your factory bumper, no reinforced bumpers. So we're going to work on that. And then, I don't know, we'll see where we end up. Hopefully I get that done today. So here we are. Okay, so whenever I drove this back to my house from my dad's shop, I was hearing a noise and I was like, man, what is that noise coming from the rear end? Sound like something rattling, shaking, rubbing on something. If you'll look right here, you'll notice the handle from the factory jack stuck in the suspension. I don't know how long it was in there. I don't even know if it was even fell down, but it was a good bet. That's probably where the noise was coming from. Turns out, the 2001 Camry is a nightmare when it comes to electrical. We were, uh, to start it all off, none of the dash lights will ever go off in this car, even if you have the key out. So the battery was dead when we got there. So after we rolled it off the trailer, we had to jump it. And we were letting it run while it was uh, sitting there to charge the battery before the race started. So it ran for 30 minutes or so. We got to looking around and uh, noticed it was overheating. Neither fan was working. All right, so we're in the pits, getting ready to race. See the lights? The car started overheating, the battery was dead, so uh, we were letting it run, the car started overheating. So we figured out that the fans weren't running, so we got Jeremy over there, wiring them up direct to the battery. We got them done he's just finishing up get them set up to where they won't short out on anything so we'll see what happens hopefully we get the wind tonight
We're racing. We lost a tire, but she's still doing good. Running good. I'm passing people. A couple people are passing me, but it's going good. Pretty good race. And we lost all power. It just shut off like the fuel pump quit on us. Well, lo and behold, we're not getting power from our relay, between our relay and our fuel pump for some reason. I switched relays, put in good ones and everything, and it still has the same problem. So when we got it home, we figured that out and we wired it up direct and the car fired up fine. We unloaded it and everything. So in the end, I guess we're gonna hold on to this one wire up the fans on the toggle switch, wire up the fuel pump on the toggle switch, try to take care of anything else we can think of that's electronic, and hopefully we'll be out there next year racing in the same race. So keep an eye out for this car. We'll probably do something else with it. We've got 160 acres out here to play with, so I'm sure you'll see this car again. So the trailer race got rained out last weekend, and uh, It got pushed out to this weekend, which was the 7th, October 7th, so which was fine. It gave us another week to get the car ready, but the only problem was I already had a race going on on the 7th. The uh, Fred Toberfest 2017, that's the Fred Lobster race. This was their 100 lap endurance race. We got a Kia, a 2004 Kia Optima and we completely gutted that thing. We dropped close to a thousand pounds of weight off of this car. It had a little bit of a misfire. We figured that out. It was the cam center plug. We got it all fixed up. We added a badass exhaust. Just came straight out of the manifold, looped around and went straight up out where the hood goes. We threw a roll bar in it, threw a couple of racing seats in it, cut the top off and made it look like a little Kia Camino, if you will. message my buddy was texting me said that he had already went from 10th to 6th and then in no time he was in first uh, he led that race for a pretty good little bit good racing and lo and behold something went wrong with that car too they sent me a picture of him holding one of the rod cap bolts in his hand it uh, threw a rod through the bottom of the oil pan
All right, so at the end of the day, Trailer Park Patrol didn't come out on top on either event that they did, but we did go out and race, and that's ultimately what it's all about. This show is here to prove that you don't have to be rich or have a million dollars to be able to do events like this. We went out with both events, total spin for me between both races, get buying both cars, and building the cars was about five or six hundred dollars. So there it is, episode one's in the books. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. And to take us out, here's a video clip of another one of the guys trying to roundhouse kick the Kia when we were building it. Thanks again, guys. Project on the last. Let's go, bud. You good now? Nah. Yeah, you're about to be famous. Roadhouse. Hey, that ended exactly how I expected. <laughs>